You know, if the federal government put as much effort and attention into actually running the country as it does into politically correct nonsense, we might actually be in a bit better a place as a country. The federal government this week released its economic and fiscal update featuring a rather bizarre section about the gender-based analysis, the GBA plus analysis that the government undertook as it reviewed its own spending. And I want to see if anything jumps out from this paragraph here. Gender-Based Analysis Plus is an analytical process used to assess how diverse groups of women, men, and non-binary people may experience policies, programs, and initiatives. GBA Plus goes beyond gender to consider additional identity factors such as ethnicity, sexual orientation, age, income level, and mental or physical ability. Here is the legend for the pictograms contained in this summary. Please see introduction to Budget 2019's gender report for a more detailed description of these terms and fields. And yes, the budget does go through this GBA plus analysis as well. But remember, when the gender analysis was first introduced through government policies, and we see it across departments, by the way, considerable effort put towards this, considerable money hiring consultants to come in to review whether gender is being appropriately considered whenever a government program is going on. This was always supposed to be about making sure that women weren't being disadvantaged. And broadening it to look at the impacts is interesting enough for most people, but now saying that gender analysis is going beyond gender, and this is the epitome of intersectionality, that you can't look at the one without looking at race and orientation and ability level and all of these things. Now, the problem with this is that it's actually quite patronizing. The government is effectively saying that people are impacted differently by deficits if they are black versus if they're white, if they're trans versus if they're cis. And, you know, while there certainly are going to be policies that impacts certain groups in different ways, why would we not as a government focus on how all Canadians are being impacted by government spending? Take, for example, this headline in the Wall Street Journal talking about the widening deficit in Canada. Well, deficit spending is not good for anyone. Doesn't matter what the GBA analysis reveals, all Canadians suffer when the country's finances are not being looked after. Why is the government so focused on this identity politics? Because that's the only thing they know how to do well. We're talking about finance. We're talking about math. We're talking about numbers. When you were in high school math class, did you ever imagine that one plus one equals two might be different depending on the gender or identity group? Give me a break. But this is the only thing the government right now cares about. They'll spend as much of your money as they conceivably can. But oh, don't worry. It's okay because they did the identity analysis. Intersectionality trumping economics. For True North, I'm Andrew Lutton.